stepped up on, and the stick went under the arm of Tsink. He got lucky that wasn't called for a penalty. Garbowski through center, up the right wing side, near side. He gets it over to Corbin, and he takes a shot on net, goes off the blocker of Scott Grenham, and it goes in. It's a 1-0 hockey game early on. A little bit shaken up there. was able to get that out to center ice. They re-enter the zone, a two-on-one near side. Mitch Holmberg shoots, he scores. Beating Scott Grenham over the blocker with a wrist shot for the near circle. And this is quickly a 2-0 game and both goals on the power play. Yeah, well. And Dornbosch will send it deep. And that was an awkward uh, fall down in behind the net. There's a pass far side, a chance on net, and a save made as Louis Marcotte had a tie to the circle. Therefore, O'Brien, Dornbosch is challenged in the deep slot as he wanted to unload a shot. They look into a 1-2-2 as they switch up top. Here's a shot there from Jamie Dornbosch. He scores! One-timer past Saunders. And the Thunder get on the board. It's 2-1. to one. We talked about it earlier. Pretty shots low on the net from the point. You know, it's so hard. So tempting to just take that one-timer and just clap it in. But we saw there a shot that wasn't particularly high. A shot down low the net, and it finds a hole. Jamie Dornbosch has been on fire lately. He had three points on Saturday night and an assist last night. And now a goal here tonight on the man advantage. And you and I talked about that high-low action, and Wichita did a good job of moving the a loose puck in the far circle. Out to O'Brien, out of the slot. It comes back to the line, and Dornbosch will settle a bouncing puck down. O'Brien. Trying to get that to the line. Went off a stick. Kept in by Dornbosch. Backdoor pass. Here's Marcotte in the crease. And he scores! Louis Marcotte with a terrific move. Right at the front of the blue paint and ties the game at two. Great puck on the power play for the Wichita Thunder. Both goals come in the power play. And a great play by Marcotte. And he buries it two to two. That play all started at the blue line. A pass coming up the boards was kept in the zone by Jamie Dornbosch. He's able to move it across. And if he doesn't keep that puck in the zone, back of the net, he'll get it back on the near side wall. Up to the blue line, Bolton, and he fanned on the shot. A foot race the other way. Coming up near side, here's Kenny Brooks trying to get around t -Sync, and that's going to go at the side of the net, and the Eagles cash in with a loose puck in the near post and score to retake the lead. Three to two. Blocked by Belzeal. O'Brien with support on the near side wall. He's got a man open. Tatchell near side. Takes a wrist shot and he hit the post. He had a wide open man coming down that far boards. That was McCoy Earcamps, but he took the shot anyways and caught the iron. Now the Eagles back the other way. A three on two near side. A shot on goal. And Belzeal puts it through a sliding Scott Grenham. And the Eagles regain their two goal advantage. It's now four to two. Well, Friedman. Up top, Dornbosch, far circle, and he shoots, rebound there, O'Brien, and he was robbed there by Clark Saunders with a leg pad save. A what terrific a save. Tries to flip up the near side glass that's kept in by Matt Register. Now to the slot, here's a wide open chance in front, and Scott Grenham with a terrific save. On Sean St. Amon, who was, and he catches a pass on the near side wall, and Register had to hurry, and there's a steal by the Thunder as he turns it over, and now Friedman all alone in a breakaway. He got the pass from all in the backhand, and he scores through the five hole. Through Saunders, and makes it a one goal game. He's got it in the far corner along the goal line. Good stick by Mardo. Marcotte back to O'Brien. He's got a man open near side of shot. Rupert hit the post, gets it back, and tries to play a backhand to the front of the net. In behind. A minute remaining in the third. Here's a long outlet pass that's intercepted at center. Here's Belzeal, and they'll turn and fire it into the empty net, and they score. Blue line played around the net. And now Ryan Tiesink gets run into, and Wichita's eye low comes in, and now Tiesink grabbing Zimmerman by the head and puts him in a headlock. As we get our first real scuffle after a whistle in this game between these two teams. I've not seen this almost all night. With 10 seconds remaining in the third. Well, T-Sync look on the near side. Here's Sam Jardine working to center. Taking off a his stick. And the Colorado Eagles will grab the first of three as they win this hockey game by the final score of 5-3 to three tonight at Interest Bank Arena.